All right, on the Civic Mark 8, that is, I think it's 2004, 2005 to about 2011, I think. Right, in this, ex in this video, we're going to be testing out, I have no clue, if we can take off negative terminal battery or disconnect the battery without the immobiliser kicking the alarms going off which happened in a car I owned near San Primera in the past one way to find out I can't work on a car unless I can do things like take the negative battery to me, right? of course the clock will need to be reset so I'm doing this because I need to do something to the uh, fuse box later on so disconnect it and move out of the way so you don't suddenly reconnect all right, so, of course there's no power going to it now. And uh, I'm just checking the uh, condition of the batteries I'm doing. I can see a green light, green light's okay. We connect, there's no sparks or anything for this car, for some reason. The alarm didn't go off, there's no alarm. Fairly tight, make sure. And I'll crank it, see if it comes on, see if there's any messages. I'll come and tell you. Take you with me. This is a 2007 2.2 TDCI. Before doing that, I, uh, I was thinking about unrolling the windows down. I mean, not rolling, putting the windows down. But what I did instead is open the boot up just in case. Make sure the doors have been unlocked before you do things like that. You never know what will happen. So I've, put the, I've opened the boot, the boot is open. The boot is the trunk in uh, American language. So, key in. Let's check for any kind of warnings. Door is open, telling me the boot is open. The trunk. No, it's fine. That's fine. So, you can do it, no problem. So thanks for watching, please uh, hit the like, subscribe button and uh, make any comments below. Be careful if you do it to your own car, take advice first or if it's an old car like this, less of a matter. But when you, some cars, it kicks in a mobiliser, Nissan Primera, uh, definitely. Uh, so be careful when you do things like that. You might need a memory saver in the, uh, put into the uh, OBD2 port before you do things like this depending on the car. Thanks for watching.